It's a fully certified Transport Canada boat. Most houseboats in my mind, it's something that they park next to the dock and they don't move. Up go the flower baskets and you know, we're here. And, and I love that. But uh, this is something a little different. Gives a, a little bit more latitude about, yeah, it has all the creature comforts in a little space. You can live on this boat. It's a, like a little mini apartment, you know, a tiny home. But hey, you can untie and head out to the islands and change your location of your house for a month if you like. So I like the appeal of that. So in 2017, I started designing and uh, it took approximately two years to build the boat. Nadine was a, a tremendous help in the design as well. And uh, a good old friend of mine, Craig Toby, joined me in the process and is still a great partner in the project. I've always had a very close association with the ocean. I bought an Ericsson 39 and uh, I lived on that boat for 16 years and I got a chance to meet a lot of interesting people and quite often I'd end up taking them sailing and I always enjoyed seeing what a revelation it was uh, for them to just get out there and all of a sudden you know feel the wind in their face and the motion of the water and so in a, a way this sea suite uh, reflects that they can rent this for a couple of days it's a way of getting people uh, familiar with the water this is the entrance the one uh, entrance from the dock through here and this is the dinette. This table goes down and fits in there. And cushions slide in for a, a double bed there. The table is electric table. It goes down by pushing these buttons here. We could have just kept this as the only bed, but we found, or I found for myself, that like sometimes during the day, I'd just like to stretch out on a bed and grab a book and have that room. And it's turned out to be a very good option, having the full queen-size bed ready to go all the time. Because we were squeezing everything into 26 feet, we had to make sure that we had ample storage wherever we could get it. Uh, underneath, here there's three propane tanks and there's a separate cabinet that opens only to the outside. Uh, there's a lot of space underneath these seats and with drawers. Um, I really like drawers. I've found that I, in my sailboat when I was living aboard, if you had to open up hatches and stuff, it, it was really awkward to access stuff. So drawers just make that so much easier to, to get to uh, supplies and such. By raising the floor underneath the dinette, uh, and creating that uh, storage space underneath with the drawers. Uh, what it also does is the people that are sitting down at the table here, it raises their eye level up to the same as someone that's uh, preparing food in here. So you're more or less on the same level. And we find that more communal. It's a nicer feeling associating with your friends in that, that way. It was really important to have blinds, uh, especially when you're on the dock at the marina. People are always interested in, in looking at the C-suite, so they come right up and have a look. So these are these are great. Uh, we can just pull them quickly down, like so. And we can also pull them down from the, the top, and uh, so you get the light through the top, which uh, solves that problem of being peeked in, but still have lots of natural light coming in the boat. These were originally designed for fishing rod holders, but they've come more, in more handy to hold these little blinds that we just snap on magnetically onto the, the door windows. The galley is an L-shaped space, uh, which basically separates the bedroom area from the, the kitchen. Uh, we have a nice little uh, wine rack in there, uh, lots of drawer space, a propane cooktop here, a little electric roasting oven there. We have under sink storage for recycling and garbage. And we have a simple sink here with drain board which is totally sufficient for uh, two people on board the boat. This is the Nova Cool fridge. They're built uh, in Vancouver and uh, the nice part about this fridge is that uh, they let you slide in whichever facing material you want. The boat doesn't rock that much, but we have put soft clothes elements on the drawer and the fridge has a locking device on it as well. 
In keeping with the idea of low maintenance, we decided to go with uh, quartz countertops. Uh, this is Caesar stone and it's really easy to wipe clean and it's bright. It reflects a lot of light in here. We have two fans on the boat, one above the stove top here and I made extensions so we can easily reach up and lift the top up. For water we have four bladders, 200 liters each underneath the floorboards and they're all linked together and we have valves we can turn one on, turn one off and uh, they all feed into a, a manifold to the domestic water pump. The benefits of Having a bladder uh, are numerous as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they're quite reasonable. You don't have air in them and generally if you don't have air you don't get bacteria growth and other things so it's keep keeping the water uh, fresher. The other thing is if you do have a leak for some reason in one of these you just empty it, roll it up and um, get a new one for $150 instead of a uh, solid plastic tank you have to build them in so if you have a problem with it you have to take out all the flooring and that's uh, that can be a, a very expensive proposition most of these uh, panels are removable we have these little ball and socket plastic joints we call them hippos and so I could just grab this and reef on it and pull it out so we can ac access uh, all the connections and such behind here and I've always felt uh, it's important to be able to easily access your systems, especially on a, on a boat, because if, if they're hard to get to, you end up delaying maintenance and it becomes a bigger issue. These panels along the side of the bathroom here uh, can all pop off so we can, if there's a leak in the shower or something, we can, we can get to it. The bed is a queen size bed, walk around. Uh, it has nice little reading lights that you just pull out on the side here. Uh, we have a little breadboard to put your book. And there's drawers underneath as well. The bed faces forward and it has another side window that goes drops right down to the water. And we've had several guests mention that uh, they've had seals that come right up to the window and look up at them. I felt it was very important to have a queen size bed that was walk around. We felt that was important to be able to lay in bed here and have that expansive view just out, outside your window. I asked Dad to carve up a little disc there for the center of the, the bed head. Very nice to get a, a piece of his work involved in the project. We have a hanging locker up front here that has lots of space to hang coats and put suitcases and such on the bottom. Up front here we have a couple of seats and this is a favorite place for my wife Nadine to come out and have a cup of tea in the morning. This is uh, one of her, her favorite spots. Right here is the bathroom or the head as we call it. We have a three foot by three foot shower here and a fan above. We have a vanity here, a mirror and touch lights. The toilet is a separate toilet. It's a waterless toilet so that's very handy on board for conserving water. So we start uh, the engines from this location. The ignition for the outboards is right under here, a little protected. Uh, controls here, differential controls. When we're heading out of the marina, this is where I control the boat. So I back her out and as soon as I have it out in the clear, we'll put this in forward and set the RPM on the engines and then I move up forward uh, with the remote control and control the direction with the remote control. And with the remote control, you can steer from anywhere on the boat. So we came up with the dimensions of the boat uh, 26 feet long because every foot costs money when you're sitting at uh, a dock at the marina. And we wanted to be able to sit inside and see out very easily and let the light come in and that way it would make the boat feel a lot bigger inside. We decided that uh, we put the majority of our deck space uh, up top. So we have a nice set of steps leading up to the top deck where we keep the kayaks and uh, we have zero gravity chairs up there and an umbrella and it's very comfortable up there. 
the 11 foot 6 beam, uh, what we were considering there was the fact that uh, we can trailer this boat as I have, have done. Just with a, a wide load permit you can get for $15. The C-Suite is a, essentially a, a floating box. I've made it look a little less boxy by rounding a, a few elements to make it a little more shippy looking. But uh, it has a dead flat bottom. That gives the boat a lot of initial stability, uh, so it's it's very stable in the water. It's one of the cons is that it will slide if there's a lot of wind, and it can be a, a handful to manage. That's one of the, the downfalls of, of this design, but uh, the number of times that you're gonna have to deal with that is, is quite minimal. It's over 8,000 pounds in weight, so we didn't build it lightly on purpose because we didn't want it sort of bouncing around like a, a duck. We wanted to sit in the water quite heavily. The flotation is gained uh, simply by the volume underneath the water line, and all that volume is filled with styrofoam billets. Uh, I'm in the process of changing the windows over to thermal panes, so that'll make it a little cozier in here and address some of the condensation problem that boats always have during the winter. We have about one inch of uh, SM board through the walls and all through the ceiling. We have two sources of heat, uh, one of which is a radiant oil heater that we tuck underneath the counter here, and the other is a propane uh, heater, it's a Propex heater from the UK. It's one of the few that's designed for marine use and is distributed through this beam in the ceiling so that can uh, provide enough heat uh, during the winter. For electricity we obviously have shore power, uh, 110, uh, 30 amp service, but we also have uh, 520 watts of, of solar panel and we have four uh, 6 volt deep cycle batteries underneath the step there. This is the propane water heater, on-demand water heater, and it's made by Precision Temp. It's the only marine propane water heater certified for marine use. We went with uh, aluminum uh, because it's very low maintenance. It's uh, very durable and it's uh, it's strong. Found a great aluminum builder, Mark Keeler. I'd bring designs in on a napkin and he was uh, wonderful at just understanding things intuitively. Since we built this C-Suite we've had a lot of people uh, interested in it and we are looking at producing uh, more of them. We have a local builder, Pronautics, and we've partnered up with them and uh, I think we have a, a very bright future with them.